Good evening, everyone. The September 8th, 2022 uh, regular rent control board meeting is now called to order. Uh, would the secretary please take roll? Yes, Commissioner Tarosis. Here. Commissioner Leslie. Here. Vice Chair Foster. Here. Chair Duran. And I'm here. Okay, thank you very much. I want to say at the outset, um, I finally remembered uh, that if anyone uh, would wish to address the board on a specific item for tonight's agenda, uh, you should have contacted the board secretary prior to the meeting. If you'd like to make a public comment, feel free to request to do so in the chat function of the Blue Jeans um, or you may dial 408 740 7256. The meeting ID is 809-860-694. And the passcode is 2004. Um, Secretary Ho, is it possible to post that up on the screen for the next uh, minute or so so people can see that? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Um, while that's posted, we will then move to uh, the approval of the minutes on August 11, 2022. I move approval. Approve? I'm sorry, I stepped A on second. you. So. Okay, so it sounds like uh, first by Commissioner Vice Chair Foster, a second by Commissioner Trosis to approve the minutes on August 11, 2022. May we have a roll call vote, please? Um, Steve, <clears throat> Commissioner yeah. Leslie, Commissioner Leslie seconded that. Oh, did you, I'm sorry, Commissioner Leslie. You sounded like Commissioner Trosis. My, my apologies. Okay, uh, duly noted. Uh, may we have a roll call vote, please? Yes, Commissioner Leslie. Yes. yes. Commissioner Trosis. Yes. Vice Chair Foster? Yes. Chair DeRoy? Yes. Motion carries. Very good. All right, moving on to public comment. Uh, this is the time set aside for members of the public to address the board um, regarding matters that are not on the agenda, but that are within the subject matter of the board. Uh, we cannot take official action on any public speaking comments, but um, uh, because they're not a, uh, in the agenda, but we would like to hear your comments. Uh, Secretary Ho, are there any persons in line uh, to speak in public comment? No, no public comments. Okay, very good. Then we'll close the public comment section and we will move on then to Uh, item number six, the special agenda items, the appointment um, of applicants un for the unscheduled vacancy of the Santa Monica Rent Control Board. May we have a staff report, please? Yes, good evening, commissioners. Uh, so this evening, we have four applicants for the position that is open as a result of uh, Commissioner Sultan resigning. Uh, you receive the applications in your packets, and uh, we have invited each of the applicants to give a three-minute presentation, and then after that, uh, you can consider nominations for the appointment. And as you know, this is a short-term appointment. Uh, the person appointed will serve until the election results are certified from November, and will join the uh, board or at that time, the elected members will join the board. So uh, we just need to invite the first person. I think you're going to take them in alphabetical order. Is that right, Chair Duran? Yes, that's that's right. We'll go in alphabetical order. Um, so uh, Secretary Ho, the first name I have is Alex Elliott. You could assist Mr. Elliott with getting on board with us. Uh, yes, Mr. Elliott, you will have three minutes to address the board. Uh, if you choose to have your camera on, please turn it on now. You will have three minutes. Please go ahead. 
Hi, my name is Alex Elliott. I'm a Santa Monica resident, a renter. Um, I'm chair of the uh, Disabilities Commission. I was here a couple months ago. Um, I'm applying again. I understand this is a short term. We already have the three applicants for November, and, and I want to make a change in the co next couple of months. Um, and I'll, I'll say what those specifically are is um, I'd like to meet with your communications team, figure out how we can use Hootsuite better, make our communications more accessible, make our Word documents more accessible, our social media posts more accessible, um, and our PDFs more accessible. And then uh, secondly, I know there's one more appointment or one more meeting scheduled for October. It's a virtual meeting officially. Um, I'd like to move it to Microsoft Teams. I'm happy to meet with um, the, uh, the IT team. I've worked on this a couple of times already um, to transi transition these meetings over to that platform. I say that because um, the future is going to be hybrid meetings um, for the Disabilities Commission and, and just talking with people in the community. Housing is the number one thing that comes up and they want to be more involved and all our technology is, is holding them back through the pandemic and I want to do something in, in the really short amount of time um, of this term to, to move that forward. Um, in addition, I, I know we have some business today um, or if I were appointed, um, I reviewed that and I, I'm uh, prepared to um, work with the board on, on what the business of today and I'll, I'll prepare for um, the next meetings business to, to make informed decisions to the best of my ability. But um, really in the short period of time, I really wanna make these meetings more accessible and inclusive. Um, I, I've just heard it so much that people wanna be more involved, but the technology is holding them back. And I have some subject matter expertise on this that I'd like to bring. Um, and then I think there'll be some strong candidates moving in November. Um, additionally, there's going to, uh, since the last time I came here, there's some big news around Title II. The Department of Justice has signaled they're going to make some changes to, to um, the Americans with Disabilities Act around virtual spaces. And I want to get ahead of that um, by working with this board. And just personally, I, I want to... Um, learn what it's like to be on the other side of things so I can be a better collaborator, better stakeholder, um, and, and work better with the community. Um, and, and that's my pitch. I, I understand this is a really short um, term and I really wanna be focused and, and move things forward and make things uh, more inclusive. Um, thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Elliott. Um, are there any questions for Mr. Elliott? Seeing none or hearing none. Uh, thank you for your time, uh, Mr. Elliott. And now we will move on to the second applicant. Um, Commissioner um, Leslie had a question, Chair Jerome. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. I've got, I'm, I'm waving, to, hello. Let me apologize. I, I'm looking at five different things at one here. I, I am so sorry I did not see you. Uh, Commissioner Leslie, please go right ahead. Um, I actually had a question for the, the first, Mr. Elliott. Okay. Mr. Elliott, are you back up? Uh, are you back on? Yes. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Um, so you were talking about Microsoft Teams. How would you change that? How would you change the platform and how would it be more accessible? Um, that, that's a great question. Um, so the Disabilities Commission was uh, originally on Blue Jeans, and I worked with the IT team to, to move it over to Microsoft Teams. Santa Monica already uses this platform. Um, it's approved. It, it meets security and privacy compliance. But why I'm particularly interested in it, 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 it has uh, more accessibility features. So we're talking about live transcriptions, uh, cart captioning, um, and it integrates with other Microsoft um, applications. Um, and uh, personally, I just like the user experience, but that's kind of my own commentary. But um, uh, it's, I, I've liked how uh, we've been able to run our Disabilities Commission meetings on the new platform as well. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to know how that helped. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Leslie. Thank you, Mr. Elliott. Um, we will now go to the next applicant. Again, I'm taking this in alphabetical order. Um, the name is Ron Gilbert. Ready, Mr. Gilbert, you'll have three minutes to uh, say a few words. 
Yes, Mr. Gilbert, you will have three minutes to address the board. If you would like to turn on your camera, please do so now. You'll have three minutes. Please go Camera, where's the... That's my camera, right? No? I will assist with turning your camera on. Well, it was on. It says your video is enabled. Everybody can see me. Um, so since I am in the film business, probably I'm, I need to be unseen. Um, can you see me? Can anyone see me? Uh, what we see is a black screen. I don't know. Maybe you have your camera. The camera video. No, it's not covered. It, I'm using my um, my iPad, and it, it was showing me before doing on. Here I am. Can you there see? There you me? go. Oh, there you are. Before. Okay. Well, listen. I've been a resident of this building, 1025 Ocean Avenue, since 1988. I was the manager of the building. I have had many meetings with rent control. I am personally dealing basically with tenants. I they will have a lot of rights. A lot of them are being violated. Uh, I am dealing right now with the owners of the building. I'm no longer the manager because they they want to give the guy lunch money to do it. And uh, there is no on-site manager. We have uh, 21 units, and it's required by California law there should be an on-site manager. I am complaining to them because the elevator has been out for a week. Uh, the fire alarm was disabled. I talked to code enforcement. They get a little. I deal with all the other people trying to help people. So basically, the issues of rent control are having certain results resolved. Uh, if there is, you know, we have a security issue. I know too much because I work with the LAPD that uh, during these times, we have a lot, we've had robberies, break ins, and the owners of the building are very restrictive with the camera. When you are a, an on site manager, you should have access. So my thing basically is. I, I deal with Santa Monica renters' rights, and I, I've talked to them quite a bit. And I, I know, you know, Andrew Cavanaugh, and I know legal aid. So my thing basically is to the safety and the maintenance of tenants in Santa Monica. And uh, that's my main issue. And even though I'm not, you know, I, I just do it out of the goodness of my heart. Everybody looks for me to just help them because that's part of my nature because I'm originally from New York and Harlem. So I'm a different world. And um, well, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, that's basically it. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your application, Mr. Gilbert. Uh, are there any questions from commissioners for Mr. Gilbert? Being none, uh, thank you ah, for your yes, time. Yes. My lady. Hi. Hello. I see. Everything. So, there you I are. have a quick, I have a quick question, okay. Mr. Gilbert. Um, since you were the manager at your apartment building, how long has it been since you've since you transitioned to not being the apartment manager into there not being the apartment manager at all at your at your property? Um, two years. There've been a couple of different owners. Originally, there was um, Alpha Near Ryan. Then Jack Dell had the building. Uh, he lost it, and now another company has the building. And they don't want someone who takes care of things the way I do. I, I am a very secure person. I chase people out of the building if they don't belong here. Uh, and we have a lot of that going on right now. So basically, uh, they don't want an on-site manager for some strange reason, which makes no sense whatsoever, because they get, you know, the owners get. A little bugged at me because I'm taking care of the people. I'm making sure, and I'm dealing with fire department, code enforcement. I know the laws. I'm basically a resident person who likes to take care of people, and that's my that's my main objective. Um, does that answer the question, um, Erica? That's that's, that, yeah, okay. that's. I just wanted to know. I wanted to know. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Thank you, welcome. Mr. Gilbert. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. And uh, uh, people keep freezing up on the screen. So, um, commissioners, if you would just uh, say something to me instead of raising a hand, because I'm not seeing the hand raised for some reason on my side, um, so that you can get my attention. Uh, thank you, Mr. Gilbert. I appreciate it.
Uh, okay, so now we'll go to the next applicant, uh, which is Kurt Gonska. Um, yes, Mr. Gonska. Health, you'll assist Mr. Gonska. Yes, Mr. Gonska, if you have three minutes to address the board, please go ahead. Uh, can you guys hear me? Okay, awesome. Um, as he stated, my name is Kirk Gonska, and thank you for the opportunity to uh, talk before you guys today. Um, I am one of the three candidates who qualified for the ballot uh, for the Rent Control Board this November. Uh, and with this opportunity we have today to fill a vacancy, I think it's a, a great opportunity to uh, to really hit the ground running. So just to give you a little bit of background about myself, uh, I've lived in Santa Monica uh, since 2014 and have uh, lived in rent controlled apartments since then. Uh, and before that, I was living in Chicago where I was born and raised, went to school. Uh, I worked in on political campaigns uh, for a number of years. Uh, and then after moving to California, when I came to Santa Monica, I now work in the entertainment industry, first at a, a Hollywood PR firm and now at Dick Clark Productions. But as I mentioned, I've lived for the last eight and a half or so years in rent controlled apartments in Santa Monica. And in my last building and in my current building had various issues and problems with the landlords, the building owners. And uh, I actually reached out to SMER, I reached out to uh, commissioners on this board and worked with the rent control uh, board staff to get some resolution to those issues. And you know, uh, we have very strong, as, as you guys know, we have very strong tenant protections here. We have a very strong rent control uh, law. But if residents aren't aware of what their rights are, if they don't know how to get the help to apply those rights, to take advantage of those rights, then they're really uh, not necessarily benefiting from the strength of that law. So having gone through it myself, having seen how effective you all are when you work with tenants who are having issues to help them navigate and get resolution on those issues. I really feel passionate about joining you and helping my neighbors, helping fellow Santa Monicans navigate those issues and, and, and take advantage of the rights that they have here. I look forward to any questions you have and, and hope to earn your appointment. Thank you, Mr. Gonska. Uh, would anybody like to ask Mr. Gonska any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Okay, Commissioner Trostis. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Gonska. Um, why do you believe that you are the most qualified person to be appointed to this seat? Well, I think it's a combination of sort of my uh, professional experience uh, working in politics, but also my experience, like I mentioned, uh, working with the board and with the staff to navigate some of these issues that I think are common in the city uh, that people have with their landlords. And uh, thirdly, I would say, you know, just the fact that uh, I, I'm one of the three people on the ballot for three positions uh, means that we can have sort of a continuation uh, past, you know, through November and into next year rather than uh, bringing somebody up to speed for just a couple of months and then having to do that again in, in November, December. Thank you. Hey, Commissioner Leslie, any questions? Yes. Um, okay, so, Mr. Gronska, if you uh, made it to the board, what would you do? Um, well, let me rephrase that. So, if you had anything to do over again uh, in your help of your neighbors and advocating for yourself, what would you do differently? That's a really good question. Thank you for asking that. I think one of the things I would do differently is I would. I would have uh, communicated with the neighbors in my building and organized with the neighbors in my building from the start, because essentially, you know, essentially, I uh, the resolution that we came to with the landlord, I was essentially forced to sign a confidentiality agreement. So after the fact, I'm literally legally not allowed to go and talk to my neighbors about it. Uh, so that's one thing I would do differently. And on that point of communication, I think that's a real opportunity for myself if I'm appointed uh, and for the board as a whole uh, to really, uh, we have a lot of work out of ourselves to communicate with 
the residents in Santa Monica to let them know about the city funds that are available for people who can't afford the current 6% increase, and also to let them know if the ballot measure does pass, how they're going to be affected come February, and then also how people may be affected come next September with inflation currently being high. So there's a lot going on, as you all well know, and I think communicating, over-communicating, taking every opportunity we can to organize uh, is really paramount. Thank you, Mr. Granska. Thank you, Mr. Granska. Appreciate your comments. Um, we will move on. Uh, Vice Chair Poster, I don't know if you want to ask a question or not, or? I have no questions, thank you. Okay, very good. Um, then thank you, Mr. Granska, for your time. We'll move thank you. On then to, uh -huh, we'll move on to the next uh, and the last applicant this evening. Um, then, his name is Mark Moalam, I believe I pronounced that correctly. If you could um, help Mr. Moalam get ready, Mr. Ho. Yes, Mr. Moalam, if you would like to turn your camera on, please do so now. You will have three minutes to address the board. You have been unmuted. Please go ahead. All right, looks like I am live. So I'll go through my background real quick. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Um, so I graduated in degree in computer science. And when I did, I was really interested into uh, startups. And uh, since startups don't make money, I ended up working in the family business for real estate. Uh, and 10 years later, I have 10 years of experience in real estate. Uh, so that's how life goes, I guess. Um, so I have a ton of background in that. Um, by the time I was 29, I decided to build my own real estate portfolio. Uh, full disclosure, I do own a five-unit apartment in Santa Monica. Um, currently, I've been shifting away from real estate and going back to my tech roots. So I'm building a software startup uh, for small landlords uh, so they can help collaborate with their tenants and the handyman. Um, I saw the opportunity for the vacancy, and I honestly just thought I should be giving back more. I have worked in this field for over a decade. I've learned so much from this field. I've learned a lot from this board. I've learned a lot working with the Santa Monica Rent Control Board. And um, I, I just thought that if this was an opportunity to get back, uh, give back, I should take it. Um, I wanted to mention a lot, there was some talk about real, uh, on the maintenance issues. Uh, quickly, I would say that the struggle to find qualified workers is something the city could potentially really help out with. Uh, maybe a list, maybe some kind of certified vendor program through the city of Santa Monica. So housing providers don't have the excuse that you know, couldn't find qualified work or couldn't get the work done fast enough. Um, and then the other thing was some kind of non-disclosure deal. Uh, when we talk about these kind of decisions that housing providers make with tenants, uh, they can affect rent control policy. And um, I'm surprised that's allowed and I wouldn't want that to be allowed. Um, to speak quickly on some of the matters on the docket today, uh, if I don't run out of time, that is. Uh, as far as the approval for the exemption of the new construction on the ADUs, uh, I'm not necessarily a fan of exempting new construction from ADUs, but it's pretty clear by law that we should do that. And uh, it creates a lot of problems if we're not following the laws it's written, especially for any uh, progress we make forward coming up with solutions. We're basically quick, uh, building a quicksand. So I would support that. And as far as the appeal for the maintenance request, I wasn't able to see any of the pictures. So I would just say to the rent control board, make a decision based on the pictures, the best way to decide anything for maintenance. Mr. Wall, Mr. Wall, I'm thank you very much. Uh, any commissioners, would you like to ask any questions? No? Okay. Um, if I could ask just one question, the uh, the startup that you're that you're starting, what, what was the what was the purpose of that again? I, I kind of missed that as you were at the beginning of your speech. It's a collaborative property management software. So it creates a portal for anyone who wants to rent or, or anyone who wants to be a renter, where you can log in, you can see your tenancies, you can pay rent, you can see what you paid, what you owe, transparency and billing. Also, you can file maintenance requests, you can track maintenance compass. Uh, property managers can assign maintenance requests to individuals, and then you can track the status and have a conversation about each maintenance request in one place. I see, and is that up yet, or is that still in development? It is currently in the, it is up, but it is currently under early testing with certain users. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Commissioner Foster, I can't see you. Do you have any questions? I do not. Thank you. Okay. 
Thank you very much. Mr. Mualam, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And, uh -huh. and now we will go to, uh, I believe the appropriate thing would be to go to discussion on the four applicants. Uh, would any commissioners like to discuss or make any motion? Yes, Chair Duran. Yes, go ahead. Hi, Commissioner Foster here, and I apologize. I'm participating remotely. Um, I reviewed all four of the applicants. Very happy to see uh, Mr. Elliott apply again, and very interested to see the new folks. Um, but I have gotten to know uh, the applicant named Kurt Gonska over the last several months, and uh, I'm very glad that he applied. And uh, I'm convinced from the extent of his participation in both uh, rent board meetings, city council meetings, uh, planning commission meetings, um, community meetings, uh, activism during uh, recent weeks when rent control questions came before us, I was convinced in my conversations with him about that issue that he understands our law and that he's ready to hit the ground running. And I, for one, am going to be um, casting a vote for Kurt Gonska. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Commissioner Foster. Any, anyone else like to speak? Go ahead, I, will, I see, okay, now I see him. Uh, Commissioner Leslie, go right ahead. And then Commissioner Trosses. So what can I, I can appreciate with, uh, I concur with Commissioner Foster. Um, what I can appreciate with Mr. Gonska is that he also was there at the board meeting, city council meeting rather till late in the wee hours when it came to the 6% rent increase and the dedication that he showed at showing up, even though he was not an appointed board member. Also that he has real life experience as far as having to go through the ebbs and flows of fighting with a landlord and knowing the steps that need to be taken and has the passion and dedication that we need for a commissioner. So my vote would go to Kirk Gonska as well. Okay, Commissioner Trosis. Yeah, I mean, I think showing up and um, standing up for renters, not just when it's convenient and there's political opportunity, but um, when you know, it speaks to your heart and who you are is important. And Mr. Gonska has done that. He has shown that he's not only um, in name only wanting to serve on this board, but he is showing up in the community, showing up, um, you know, at demonstrations, at meetings, um, researching the law and understanding the law. And moreover, I told all the candidates who reached out to me um, when we interviewed with them, <clears throat> that it was a non-starter for me if you didn't apply uh, to serve the full four-year term because serving two months is um, not very productive for us. Um, and if you're committed to this, you're committed to the full four-year term and you're committed to running. So, so for that reason, um, I think that Mr. Gonska is the only candidate that we can appoint this evening. Um, and I would make a motion, but I'm happy to hear from Steve. Okay, thank you. Uh, Commissioner Trosis. Um, well, it's true that that this is uh, you know this is only going to be for the rest of this term, which will end in uh, three four months uh, from now. Um, I, I too was looking for someone who wanted to jump in and was willing to take the long commitment and. And from what I've heard from my fellow commissioners regarding uh, Mr. Gonska uh, with his commitment to, to public service here in Santa Monica um, without holding any position, uh, it holds a lot of weight with me. Um, but I think more importantly, um, taking that further step of um, showing his commitment to wanting to stay in the long term by going through the process of applying for off for office, getting the signatures, doing all the things that we've all had to do, um, which is not easy um, and takes a lot of time, also shows his commitment to uh, his public public service. Um, so I uh, too like 
Mr. Gonska's effort and commitment to the city. Um, which is not to say that it doesn't take a lot for the others to step up to the plate and apply and take that time um, and want to get engaged and to help fellow residents here in Santa Monica. Um, I certainly encourage that they continue to do that um, since that's what it seems their interest is. Um, we would love to have you come back and help out. Um, but with that, uh, I will entertain any motions uh, to Commissioner Trosis stating she would make one after my comments. So I'll, I'll hear sure. you. Sure. I, I move that the board uh, appoint for Gonska to the, to the unscheduled vacancy uh, to serve the remainder of the term. Um, and date. Second. Great. There's been a first and a second. For uh, Mr. Gonska, can we have a roll call vote uh, to accept Mr. Gonska's application and have him uh, join the board? Yes. Commissioner Tarosis. Yes. Commissioner Leslie. Yes. Vice Chair Foster. Yes. And Chair Duran. Yes. Motion carries. Okay, thank you to all the others. Um, Mr. Gonska, welcome aboard. Um, Secretary Ho, if you'd like to do whatever procedural stuff you need to do to get him on board, would appreciate it. Yes, Mr. Gonska. Welcome you... to the board, Mr. Gonska, and I, uh, Chair Duran, and fellow commissioners, including uh, Mr. Gonska, I was participating remotely uh, long enough to participate in this important vote. And I need to uh, leave the meeting at this time with your with your permission. Of course, of course. We still Thank have you very much. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Thanks. Mr. Ho, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Gonska, please raise your right hand. Do you, Kurt Gonska, uh, solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of a rent control board commissioner according to the best of your ability? Yes, I do. Okay, congratulations, Commissioner Gonska. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. I'm really honored to get this appointment. Looking forward to digging right in. Fantastic. Um, Secretary Ho, he can change your, your title, I believe. Um, we'll make it even more official. Uh, in the meantime, we'll move on to item 10A. There you go. There you are. Um, we'll move on to item 10A, exemptions of new construction. Item number NCEX-30191, 1337 23rd Street, Units B and C. Um, may we have a staff report, please? Good evening, Commissioners. Can you hear me, Phil? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, 1337. Can I? Sorry. Just in the interest of time, I think that the staff report is relatively straightforward and this is a de facto uh, new construction exemption. And so I, I moved to wait the staff report and approve the uh, staff finding of fact and conclusions of law to exempt units B and C at 1337 23rd Street. Okay, there's been a first. Um, do I have a second? I don't okay. see what I'll, I'll okay. make. That's fine. Maybe it would be helpful uh, for our friends to hear it all. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Mortizai, go ahead if you would give us that report briefly. Absolutely. Sorry. I'll, keep it, I'll keep it brief. Um, commissioners, this property was registered with two units after the rent control law was adopted. And Mr. Roshan Zamir purchased the property back in 1999. He has recently built three additional units. One of those units was created through conversion of an existing structure, so it's subject to the rent control law, and that's not before you. 
Two of the other units, B and C, were built in an entirely new structure. So Mr. Roshan Zamir has applied to exempt those two units as new construction. And the rent control law units can be exempted as new construction if they were built after the enactment of the rent control law, unless the new units are created through conversion of an existing structure, replace units demolished through a removal permit, or you replace units demolished after their withdrawal under the Ellis Act and rented within five years. None of those exceptions apply here. Units B and C were not created through conversion, and, they, and there has been no removal permit or Ellis Act activity related to their construction. They're merely new additional units built on the property. Staff, therefore, recommends that the board approve the exempt. Okay, very good. I'll entertain a, a motion. Oh, well, first, let me ask, before, before we do that, just to be complete, uh, are there any public speakers, uh, any speakers talk on this item? Commissioner Howe. All right, sorry. There, there have been no requests to speak on this item. Okay, very good. Then we'll go to discussion. Uh, Commissioner Trosis. Yeah, like I mean, I think, again, like I said, this is a de facto approval of the exemption. Unfortunately, our hands are tied here. Um, the uh, applicant is, has fulfilled all the conditions, and um, I therefore move that we. Uh, approve these staff recommendations and uh, uphold the findings, facts, and conclusions of law. Okay, there's a first. Do I have a second? A second. Okay, Commissioner Leslie seconds. May we have a roll call vote, please? Yes, Commissioner Leslie. Yes. Commissioner Tarosis. Yes. Commissioner Gonska. Yes. <laughs> Chair Duran. Yes. Motion carries. Very good. Okay, moving on to item 10 B1, number D, or letter D, 5255, 1846 9th Street, Unit uh, 2. Um, this is a, an appeal. May we have a staff report, please? Certainly, Commissioners. Um, the tenant, Ms. Messina, filed a rent decrease petition here alleging various maintenance conditions, and she has appealed denial of a decrease for some of her alleged conditions. The board reviews this matter as an appellate body, not as a finder of fact, so it's determining whether there's clear evidence of error. Even if the board would have found differently had it been trier of fact, it should affirm the hearing officer's findings if the decision is reasonably supported by the record. And the charter and case law are clear that the board may grant decreases for substantial deterioration of housing services, not minor ones, unless there is specific evidence that each of those conditions made the rent unreasonable or provided the landlord with more than a fair return. The record shows that the hearing officer's denials are reasonable given the evidence in the record. I will review the, the evidence as to several of the alleged conditions which are detailed in the staff report. Ms. Messina claimed the front door was rotten and lacked proper weather stripping, letting in rodents. But the owner replaced the door in January of this year, and the investigator observed only minor gaping. Ms. Messina conceded she had not seen any rodents and did not provide evidence of water leakage. And as for bathroom sinks, Ms. Messina claimed that they had rusty overflows and drains. With her written response to the staff report, Ms. Messina submitted additional photos of the condition. But that evidence, which is new and could have been submitted to the hearing officer but was not, is not part of the record provided to the board for review tonight. Ms. Messina did submit photos of the sink at the hearing as Exhibit 24, which are part of the record and were considered by the hearing officer. But the record shows that the investigator only observed minor rusting and a small chip in the upstairs bathroom sink and minor rusting around the overflow hole and the drain in the downstairs sink and no evidence of the chipping or textured service that Ms. Messina claimed. The landlord had offered to reglaze the sinks, but Ms. Messina declined because she didn't like the fumes and found them, uh, un, uh, she, she thought that they were unhealthy for her. Ms. Messina points to the hearsay evidence of a contractor who wrote that repainting the sink will not resolve the problem to argue that reglazing it is also useless. But because the contractor didn't appear at the hearing to be subject to cross-examination and explain his notation, the hearing officer gave less weight to that than the direct evidence in the record from the parties, including the observations of the investigator, 
and found the rust to be minor and that it did not affect the sink's functionality. Ms. Messina also complained in her appeal about problems with new magnetic stoppers, but she had not provided evidence about those in the hearing. Given this record, the hearing officer's denial is reasonable. Ms. Messina expressed concern about her popcorn ceilings and the presence of asbestos. An AQMD inspector whom Ms. Messina had contacted had observed that the ceiling was currently safe but should be monitored. The manager testified that she had not received any order from AQMD to encapsulate or remove the ceiling. And given this record, the hearing officer did not find a condition that currently warranted a rent decrease, but the hearing officer did waive the six-month rule to allow Ms. Messina to petition for a decrease without having to wait if the conditions deteriorate. Ms. Messina also asked for an additional decrease for chip kitchen cabinets for which she had already received a decrease in a prior petition. The investigator observed merely minor chipping along the edges of the kitchen cabinets and drawers, and the hearing officer concluded that those conditions did not warrant any additional decrease beyond the ones that had already been given previously. Staff recommends that the board affirm the hearing officer's decision and findings of fact and conclusions. Thank you. Commissioners, any questions regarding the staff report? I see none. Uh, Secretary Ho, are there any requests to speak? No, there have been no requests to speak on this item. Okay. Then we will move to discussion. Any commissioners would uh, like to discuss this appeal? Sorry, so just to clarify, uh, the tenant appealed, but she's not, has elected not to um, present tonight, Mr. Ho? Actually had not requested to speak. Mm, okay. I'm happy to make some comments, Steve, if you'd like me to. Sure, feel free. I mean, I think the decision here doesn't foreclose Ms. Messina from returning, uh, as Mr. Moore, as I said, should there be uh, additional conditions um, found uh, that need, uh, that warrant a rent decrease. Um, I think that we obviously, uh, the hearing officer denied um, decreases for some of these minor things that didn't warrant a rent decrease. Um, I don't find anything in the record that would make me feel that that decision was clearly erroneous. Um, and so I'm inclined to uh, find that the record does support the hearing officer's denial of the decrease um, of the condition that were in which the decrease is already in place. Um, and that's where I'm leaning, but I'm happy to hear from my other commissioners. Okay, um, I'll, I'll comment. I uh, agree with, uh, you, Commissioner Tarosis, uh, I don't see clear error, which is the standard by which we must review this. Um, I, I do like that the uh, hearing officer did waive the six-month rule, which is normally in place, um, which would allow her or which would prevent her from bringing another decreased petition um, until after six months. That's been waived. And so I think that that is good if uh, issues come up again, but uh, having read the report and uh, re reviewed the discussion and all of, all of that, um, also having not had uh, the uh, applicant, uh, the appellant, excuse me, here to answer any questions that we may have had, um, I see no reason to um, reverse the, the decision of the hearing officer. Um, I would, I would lean towards affirming it as well. Any other commissioners, any comments you want to make? And I would note that it appears, um, Mr. Mortizai, she still does have an ongoing $40 decrease um, from her current MAR of 1351, is that correct? Commissioner, I know, Commissioner, I know that there has been um, a recently an addendum that has been issued oh. for repair of previous conditions, but I don't have the specific information about that. Should you affirm the hearing officer's decision in our notice of decision, we will take account anything that has been restored um, through the uh, compliance process. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, unless there are other comments and fellow commissioners, please speak up because I'm 
getting frozen faces. So if you want to say something. Um, I'm not frozen and I don't see anyone else frozen. So I think it's a you problem, not an us problem. I'm just saying. <laughs> it may, that may be, that may be. Like me, my computer is old. So uh, it, it may be the issue. Um, having seen, uh, having heard no other requests to speak, I'll entertain a motion from any of the commissioners if you'd like to make one. Um, I, I move to uh, affirm the hearing officer's decision uh, because I, we find that the reason, the record reasonably supports that decision um, for a denial of a decrease for a condition for which the decrease is already in place for a prior case. Okay, go ahead a second. If, wait, if, wait, if I yeah. may, um, m m uh, Commissioner Tarosis, that um, the decrease was in place for one of the items that is at issue. But um, the other, the, the last one that I mentioned, but all of the other ones for which she is appealed, there is no, there was no prior decrease. Yeah, right, The record right, simply right. didn't support yeah. the, um, the uh, de rent decrease for those items. Okay, strike that. So I, um, I move that we um, affirm the hearing officer's decision of findings of fact and conclusions of law. Okay, there's first, do I have a second? Second. Okay. That's I second it. You, Commissioner Leslie did. Okay. Very I think good. Mr. Gonska appeared to have seconded it before Ms. Leslie did. Did he? Okay. Well, then, then since he's he's the newbie, let's let's give it to him, uh, Commissioner Leslie. We'll give him the second. Okay. And he's a little quicker on the draw. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Um, all right, then we have a roll call vote. Yes, Commissioner Gonska. Yes. Commissioner Leslie. Yes. Commissioner Tarosis. Yes. And Chair Durant. Yes. Motion carries. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Um, I will move on then to uh, adjournment. Our next rent control board meeting Excuse is me. scheduled. Excuse me, Chair Duran, before we adjourn, may I just make an announcement about the rent control adjustment relief program? Yes. Of course. And you know what? Did I? I might have well, skipped announcements. That's okay. No problem. But I, I just wanted to make apologies. sure that. No problem. I could have brought it up then, but I thought I would bring it up now. So. I did just want to mention, since this is the largest rent increase uh, since 1990, the city has put together an emergency rent relief program to help tenants who are facing a 6% increase. Those tenants who are severely rent burdened, meaning that they're paying 50% or more of their income towards their rent, uh, will be the first to be assisted, very low income people and low income people. So the uh, postcard went out to all of the uh, controlled units that are subject to that rent increase this year. Uh, the application period is open right now and anybody who would like to apply can submit an application online at the city's website, uh, santamonica.gov, and then you'll see a tile that says rent adjustment relief, so you can click on that. For those people who would like assistance filling out a paper application, there's going to be a community clinic held this Saturday, September 10th, from 10 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon at Virginia Avenue Park at the Thelma Terry Building. Uh, staff will be available to provide support both in English and Spanish, and uh, interpretation in other languages will, be, will also be available. Uh, it's important to make an appointment, so anybody who would like to make an appointment can do so by calling 310-458-2201, extension 5771. So I encourage anybody who is um, thinks that they could be assisted by this program to submit an application. And I just wanted to make that announcement this evening. Thank you. Those are all very, very important announcements. I am so glad everybody has my back out here again. That was, <laughs> that's a good thing. Thank you for speaking up. I appreciate that. Um, now, may we go to can adjournment? I ask, can I ask a oh, question? Go ahead. Or make a comment. First of all, um, 
I just want to thank you, Tracy. I want to thank staff. I know this is hard. I know we've worked very quickly on this. Um, our, I hope our renters um, thank you. And I know it's, it's really needed and, and hopefully some relief is going to be coming in November. Um, the other question, I don't know if this is appropriate for here, but I would love at some point to get um, an update on some of the positive uh, litigation victories and outcomes that we've had uh, as a board. Um, and just want to thank uh, our staff as well for all the great work that they've done um, to uphold our rent control law and make sure that the courts are continuing to uphold our law and that we're setting good precedent for the future. So I don't know, oh, okay, Ms. Regan's here. I, I did just want to acknowledge that I think we've had some great um, successes in the last month. So um, if there was anything that we need to say about that or save that for a future meeting. Yeah, I'd be happy to put them on the agenda for the next meeting. I'd be happy to give an update about that. Fantastic. Okay, anything else? Now, uh, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Our next rent control board meeting is scheduled for October 13th, 2022 at 7 p.m. And it is to be determined whether it'll be via teleconference or in the council chambers. Um, I'll take a motion. Uh, move to adjourn. Okay, first. Is there a second? Second. Okay, Commissioner Leslie with the second. And we have a roll call vote, please. Yes, Commissioner Tarosis. Yes. Commissioner Gonska. Yes. Commissioner Leslie. Yes. Chair Duran. Yes. Thank you all and welcome aboard, Commissioner Gonska. Congratulations. Congratulations. Have a great, have a great night, you. everyone. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.